I'm here to tell you about the fantastic Name the Game series from Australian Football Video. Now there's over 200 games available, including final series, state games, night premierships and the best home and away matches of the 91 and 92 seasons. Not just the highlights, not just the last quarter, but a hundred minutes of top footy action. So pick up your free catalogue at any Brasher store. And remember, footy brings out the best in a person. Long's 1994 season was a triumph of willpower. The Cats fought back from the dead game after game to make their third grand final in six years. Gary Ablett kicked another ton and took the mark of the year, while several new Cats made their mark on senior football. The season ended just one step short of glory, something no one would have predicted after the pre-season competition. into the path of Brewer. Can he get past Ruse? Yes. Handball for Couch. Couch's kick smothered off the boot. Geelong's year began on Wednesday the 23rd of February at Waverley, where the Cats took on Fitzroy. Fitzroy under pressure, Barker, Pickering. Now Barnes. Can Barnes do something? Yes, he can. He can kick a goal for Geelong. That's Graham in the ruck. See if he hits it away. Yes, again. See, they hit it away from goal. Pickering collects the football and kicks it high into the full forward region and Darcy's taken the mark. Chris Barker has still got a fill out, so it's not as strong. Darcy goes for goal and it's a Geelong goal. The Lions had been pillaged by rival clubs and their lineup on paper looked weak. Good play by Zatari. It's going to result in a goal. Taken by Scott. He gets around Seacamp. No, he doesn't. Well done, Seacamp. Chance for Riccardi. Sweeping hand pass is pretty good. Wills, he's going to go inside 50, have a shot for goal. Andrew Wills, look at this. Brilliant kicks a goal. Inside 50, can Brownless take it? Grammy can. Sandy Tudor's been terrific tonight. He was in that passage of play again, getting the ball to catch. Been a long time between drinks for puffing Billy. One mark, no kicks. When he gets onto them, they are big. That is big. And picked him off quite nicely. Mansfield elects to kick with the right foot up towards full forward. Geelong have got the crumb gatherers. His hand no pass Billy. comes out to Brownless. Brownless can get his second goal in the quarter. He doesn't miss those big Billy from receiving from Hickman. But Geelong didn't allow for the opposition strength of character, and Fitzroy caused an upset. Geelong made its perennial poor start to the season against Melbourne, beaten by more than 10 goals. The Cats trailed all day. Ablett well held to two goals. Alan Jakovic was in sizzling form, snaring 8-8, while Gary Lyon kicked five. Thumped away by Stanfield. Barnes went without it, then tried to tap it on Couch. Onto the left foot, swings it down towards half four. Cats for all there was a holding decision to Ablett. He plays on and slams it through. Great play by the Geelong champ. From half back, looking for his brother, Gary. Gary swings onto that left boot. He kicks well on the left. He's looking for Ablett. Ablett at the back, read it beautifully. After copping a belting the week before, the Cats regrouped during the week and thrashed Footscray by 88 points at home. He goes for his second and Geelong's third, which would be a great start. Ablett, it starts to swing back. It's a goal. He puts it wide on the bounce for Ablett. Great hands, Gary Ablett. Number three coming up. What a goal! Gary Ablett kicks 7-7. But the game was one out of the centre, with Barnes getting 22 hit-outs, Gary Hocking, Paul Couch and Mark Bairstow clocking up plenty of possessions. Peter Riccardi played in the forward pocket and got four. Now on to the left, trying to swing it back. It starts to swing. Will it get there? 
by Onto, it's a goal. But he's no mug. Third in the uh, Sandover last year, and played in the Premiership side. Might have to be a better player somewhere else. We see Forsman sprint there. Now Ablett's lurking at the back. And at the front is Handley. Great mark, uh, Handley. Well, Positioning himself in front there, Peter. Yeah. And Ablett was going to fly. Former Sydney Swans player. Stephen Handley directly in front for his first, and he's kicked the goal. Besto, one hander by Stanfield, one hand not enough. Gary Hocking, this way, that away, puts it out in front of Ablett. I like his chances. Southern into his back. Gee, that looked like a free kick. No whistle. Riccardi, 40 metres out, off the left, a terrific kick. Mansfield again. Now for Ablett. And Southern went to ground well before the ball arrived, and Ablett uncontested. Great support back there from uh, Michael Mansfield. He doubled his tally of goals from last week. Here he goes. Looks close. Five goals. Handley back with the flight. Flies high. It's a loose ball. Suck it off the ground. That was by Forsman. It's up the ground. Riccardi goes back and now leads. No mark as the ball hits the deck. Here's Ablett on the left foot. Gary Ablett. Oh, miraculous goal. Terrific effort. Half forward, two goal, oh, Footscray markers dropped by Sexton. Gary Hocking crashes his way through the back. He's Hanley. An open goal looms and he slams it through. Good play by Hocking. Great play by Hocking. Costa could not get there in time. There's Hickley the mark. To Bearstow. In the wood. Ablett! Oh! Now, did that come up? It's a great mark. Saying about your auntie and your uncle? Bearstow up towards half four. Off hands it goes. Wills, 30 metres out, kicks the goal. What can the magician do? He taps it out wide. Here's a chance for McGrath to kick a goal. He hooks it around the corner and the centre half back has dobbed this through the middle. Good play by him. Oh, clean possession. Gaza, snap for goal, a beauty! Some body work going on here. Ablett is there, and Riccardi who kicks a goal and puts it through. Wills. Besto unmarked 20 metres up the ground. It's Riccardi. He's got a chance. Or will he centre it? He goes for the goal and kicks a beautiful goal. Four goals to Peter Riccardi. Yeah, we um, started to get things rolling. We, me and Buddha were having a few chats at training and tried some centre square stuff with Toby and Couchy. And we just, had, as it was, we sort of had, I think it was 13 centre breaks to about five or something by half time. So if you can obviously get it out of the centre, it must help. So we, we um, won that game, so it must have been pretty good positive for us in the centre. It was something different. We um, could see how many positions I could play. I've played on half back flank on the wing most of my career. And, um, I thought forward pocket worked in the 92 grand final. You know, and um, we tried it again and we paid off, kick four. Either side, but the Cats doing the bulk of the attack. Madden has slung off the ball. Here's a chance for Brewer to set sail to Bearstow. Now we've got a score on the board. The Cats are alike. No mark taken by Colbert. Could prove costly. Kernahan! I thought it was a very good tackle from Chris Or Forsman. Or Forsman. And look, oh! Pluck. This for Geelong to regain the lead. Three minutes remaining. No mistake by Gary Abbott. Well spoiled, however. Kernham will get another chance. He snaps. Oh, what a goal, Kerners! The Blues were four goals up at the long break and kicked another four to one in the third turn. The Cats returned the favour in the last quarter, but it wasn't enough. It was Carlton by 29 points. Ablett, don't tell me. Oh, Sandy. Despite a height difference of 13 centimetres, John Barnes beat Big Harry Madden at the bounce, thanks to some ingenious tactics. Soccer's off the ground, the big man, and has kicked it. Oh, Hamlet. Hey, are you going to try and climb up, Harry? He's bloody huge. You try, and, you try and jump on his leg and put your hand on his shoulder and pull yourself up. He's an exception. He's too bloody big. <laughs> yeah. McGrath in front of Smart this time. Danger if your Batman's in front with the breeze behind him and you don't chase hard. McGrath goes to fall forward and he's done it. The first of many, you would think. 
Winning in Adelaide is never easy, but this was the one that slipped away. With Sean Wren out injured, Barnes had a field day with 23 hitouts. The Cats were seven points up at three quarter time. And nearly the mark to Brownless. Kick off the ground by Brewer. Handley, what can he do with it? Kicks it to full forward and Ablett. If it wasn't a mark, it may have been an infringement against Ben Hart. So Gary Ablett with just one goal against his name. Three and a half minutes left in the second term. He kicks for goal and it's coming back. Is it far enough? It's a goal. Brownless sets himself in the front spot. Now Billy, in fact, that was handy in the front spot. Brownless, what a kick! It's a goal! It's McDermott a little slow. Must have thought he had all day, which he didn't. Scott off the ground. Handley, handball, goes back to Gary Hocking. 18th possession for that player, up towards full forward. The bounce is all right for Geelong here. Running onto it is Paul Couch. He was in trouble, but he's got a goal for the Geelong side. Ablett. Still Ablett. Gary's kick. Brilliant. What a player. Geelong go forward once again. Ablett, great mark. Well, this is what uh, we spoke about. A surge of goals by Geelong. And Ablett kicks his fourth goal. Handy over the top. Robert Scott's kicked a full forward. Ablett run out. With Jamison, he's done it again. Gary kicked his fifth. 45,000 fanatical supporters brought the Crows home with the seven goals to two last quarter and Adelaide won by 27 points. Still Madra, he's done it! What a star! There's the throw in. Barnes backhands it back towards the square. Dangerous, Clarkson goal. With only one win from the last four games, the Cats were off to a bad start. And they met North Melbourne when the Roos were on top of the ladder. But Geelong caused an upset. And gets it! In towards full forward. Ablett, good use of the body over Smith. Excellent crowd here this afternoon. Conditions the same. It'll lead to come back. It does. Four points, Ablett second. Hitmont's got a chance now. 60 metres from goal. Pulls it back towards the kickoff line. Ablett favoured by the kick in flight. Brewer behind. Fairly and Graham, Ablett at the back, Pickering, Brewer, goal sneaky kick one in the first quarter and hit the post, that one's pretty good, he's got it! Barnes in front, Carey behind, ball still in play, snapshot from Romero, there's a goal! Scott gets it across to Gary Hocking, Taylor made for Ablett, up oh, he goes! What a, mark. what a great mark, he's hurt himself, he landed heavily. Schwoss goes for the hand pass. Stevens drove down. Great tackle, Scott. Couch goes at goal. Savard hugging. Hand pass. Will's goal. He's lacking support at the moment, Stevens. Will's. Oh! It was a good kick honouring the lead. And if he does, the margin will be 20 points in the twinkling of an eye. Great kick. Splits the middle. Geelong on fire. Roberts in front. Mench over the top. It falls to Nichols. Taylor made for a goal this one. Nichols on his left foot puts it through. They needed that. To half forward. Forsman underneath it. Couch. Rhodes at best. Steps up. Oh, terrific goal. Quick reply. Pickering has it. Forward at the wing. He can virtually run unchecked to the 50. He kicks from 55 metres out. It's a good looking effort too. It's a goal. Great goal. Mench through some very heavy traffic there. Shocking kick though to let his uh, good work come undone, but maybe it'll be okay. Riccardi. Ablett. Oh, what a mark! <laughs> the magician! And a couple for mark of the day as well. Pencil that in. Ablett just on 50. Deserves a goal. Gets a goal. Terrific football number five. Ablett booted seven goals, feeding off another brilliant performance by the midfielders. Although the Cats continued their worrying trend of letting sides back into the game late in the match. Riccardi can measure the kick, and he's got one. Aaron Lord came in for his first senior game, and Tim McGrath named best on ground after keeping Wayne Carey out of the game. Got him down, loose ball, Graham runs onto it, the big man, 
had the advantage. 25 meters out from goal, he's got one. Aaron Lord, Mr. Boo, from the Central Dragons. He was coached by Ray Jordan, right to the kickoff line. Big pack up, Ablett. Oh, oh, that's a miracle goal. It pitches inside the field of play, and then it goes back towards center half forward. Brewer did nicely. It comes to Stevens. Opportunity for Count. Strong tackle, Romero. Oh. Brewer gets his third goal. They started with Mickey Martin in a ruck that day, and um, which is pretty unusual, playing a bloke. Oh, he plays fullback normally, but and Alex come on the bench, come off the bench after half time, and we started to beat Kerry at Snar forward, which is Timmy been dreaming about for the whole week. So we started to play the ball there, and Buddha got a hop of the ball, and Bearstow got a heap of the ball, and you know they were they were more worried about the on ballers, I think, because of what we'd done to Footscray a couple of weeks beforehand, and we'd lost two previous games. But yeah, we've we've done pretty well, and I can't understand why they played Martin in a ruck, but yeah, well, coaches have got their ideas, I suppose. Would the week off stifle the momentum gained from beating the Roos? That question was answered after just one quarter, with the Cats ripping apart Collingwood. Scotty, here it is. Oh! It's a goal. Put it down. Geelong slammed on seven goals, three to one point in the first term to set up a 28-point win. Would a hocking kick three, but best on ground was Ken Hinckley, who was brilliant in defence. Ablett kicked five, and took what remained the mark of the year. Down by McCartney, McGrath gets another go. This will be a goal if he kicks this. What an effort. Goes for it. Left foot from McGrath and puts it through. Barnes gets the first tap. Pickering, who was excellent early, sweeps a long handball to Forsman. Forsman breaks the tackle inside 50. This would be a dream start. Goes for goal and kicks it. Oh, magnificent footy. Up towards half forward, nearly taken by Kelly. Where's Rocker playing now? Oh, in the ruck. He's playing in the ruck. McCartney's come on at centre half forward and Mott Forrest is off. Gee, Collingwood got some lots of changes made. Graham Wright now over the top. McCartney, 50 metres out. Took a little bit too long, but got the kick away. And yip, hooray! Collingwood have been kicked it off. A lovely long left foot kick towards full forward already. Collingwood's back line under pressure. In comes Forsman, gets the hand pass, Gary Hocking steadies and kicks the goal. And Wills gets the handball. Back to O'Reilly, it's in front of the Collingwood goal, important position here. Brad Rowe, quickly, onto his boot, gets the goal, terrific stuff, Maggies. Couldn't take the mark, Couch stops, weaves, Scott rides a bump beautifully, handles over the top, right with Riccardi. Riccardi goes backward and Couch goes for goal and look at that. Teamwork at his best. Handball there by uh, Colbert. Now Brewer gets it to Forsman. Forsman short pass is very good. Mench. 13 possessions. He's kicked a goal. Now David Mench. What a good kick. Distance easy. Goal. Hickley through the centre. Goes long. Ablett sets himself with Pert. Gets rid of Pert and takes the mark with strength. <laughs> He's kicked three, he's kicked magnificently today. That's four. Oh, Brown kicks towards half forward. Chance for Williams. Inside 50, must kick this. And he has. Great. Barnes tries to thump it back out of bounds. Watson's left foot, great goal. Abuse it. It bounces away from Wills. Took his eye off it just momentarily, then snapped for goal. Oh. Delivered his Monk horse and Barnes. Barnes big flight. McGrath, Hullahan in the pocket. Left foot. Good looking kick by Hullahan. A goal from nowhere. Yes, and if Colin would get the first goal, then watch out. It'll be back to about even money. Colbert takes it from Pickering. Ablett, it's got it. What better man to give it to in this situation? And this would give Geelong a terrific lead. Over four goals if he kicks it. Back he goes, it's close, he's got it. 12-14 to 16-15, the difference 25 points now. 
in favour of Geelong. Monkhorst takes it out of the air. Can't get his foot to it. Brad Rowe gets the handball away. Bradley Plain. Bradley Plain. You've done it, son. You've kicked the goal. Goes into the square. Lovely kick by Minch. Oh, what a mark. No, he's played it. Well, I don't know whether he's oh. played it. I'd have to have another look at he's this. He's hurt himself too. But the he's leap, hurt himself. The leap was sensational. You wouldn't see oh. a better leap. The ball collected by Pickering. He kicks it back towards full forward, but he's in there again having another go. And it spills for Gary Hockey. And it's all over Maggie's. Tries to get a kick out of that very tight situation. Pickering's kick smothered. Taken by Brewer. Brewer, well done. Gets it to Cole, but he's got good vision, that uh, young Brewer. Then to Gary Hocking. Gary Hocking. Oh, don't tell kick me. His right foot, but has manufactured a left foot goal. Going against Collingwood, we uh, had a, a burning first quarter. I think we got out of centre probably eight times to there too, and Monkhurst wasn't having a real good day there. And by half time, I think he just got taken off the ground before half time. And he must have got a kick in the butt at, at half-time and he come out at three-quarter time and, and um, returned the tally on us and he gave me a hiding. And in the last quarter, we actually got back into the game again and we won by 20-odd points, I think. Ablett, edge of the goal square, offers the lead to Couch. The kick in that direction, Gazza! Despite scoring two good wins, Geelong was yet to shake off the tendency to let their opposition back into the match. However, Sydney never got close. The Cats gave them a good old-fashioned belting. Ablett had a day out with 14 goals, and Buddha Hocking was typically brilliant. Chance for strength. Oh, he used his body beautifully. Still got it, Gary Ablett. Around the corner goes the champion, and he's put this one through. What a goal. A bit of a wrestle. Ablett going goalwards, number four. A lot quieter in the second term after a blistering open. Runs away from Daniels. Good run by Wills. Ablett. Still with Hickmont. Riccardi on the run, near the boundary line. He goes for Ablett in the square. He's got it. Par forward. Good spoil by Luff. Takes Mitch out of it. Oh, really, Mitch was shepherding Luff off. Free kick to Mitch. Long for Ablett, who's kicking his opponent now. Ablett again. Moving the ball around in the middle. Forsman again. Oh, Ablett for the crumbs. Over his head he goes. It sits for Mitch, and Mitch gets the goal. Now, here's Pickering. Gets it to Mitch. Here's Ablett. Ah, oh, look at that kick from David Mitch. Beautiful football. I think uh, Duckley's back on there. Oh, Ablett grabbed him. Ablett! Oh, yes! Rose and Barnes. Barnes, Gary Hocking. They're out of the middle again. Brewer, a high ball. Ablett! Uh, now, what about the free kick? Surely that's against Mench. Well, Gary Ablett's only done better than this twice when he kicked 14 against Richmond in 89 and Essendon last year. Nearly misses, it's close. A goal! That's 13 for Gary Adler. Oh, OK, got uh, uh, Geelong's Paul Couch. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Gale gets front position with Graham. Gary Hocking to Brewer, fumbles first, gives it back to Couch. Couch goes at goal and kicks it. The Cats were purring. Unfortunately, Richmond was yet to hit its own purple patch. Holding the ball once more, advantage paid once more. Couch kicks it his second, he's got it. And Colbert, little chip pass. And an open space, that's Pickering. Down towards half forward, goes looking for and finds Ablett. Ablett going at his second. The lead currently is 18 points for Geelong. Just to make it 24 if it's a goal. It is. Tate, Ablett's got him in the tackle. Scott goes at goal from 35 metres out and kicks a ripper. Graham Tanner played his first game coming on in the second quarter. 
finishing with a respectable 16 possessions. Couch, Pickering, Gary Hocking and Hinckley were the prime movers. Ablett finishing off the good work with eight goals. Hinckley between two Richmond players. Well done. 60 metres out. Gives it to Hocking. Hocking goes for goal. Ablett. It runs on. He didn't touch it. It's a goal. Long to Ablett. Kettleway. Wills. Runs into an open goal and kicks it. Tanner about 60 metres from goal, goes in short, waiting behind Wills, can he kick his third, he's about 25 metres out, Ablett's in front, loose ball in the square, off the ground by Scott. Mench back to Hocking, make that 16, down towards full forward, Scott goes from behind, off hands, Ablett an opportunity, Ablett some magic here, pulls it back, a oh, great goal! Went in and won the ball, it comes to Couch who's 60 metres out, Long kick down a full ball, Ablett open goal. We had a brilliant first quarter. Couch, we can use the same adjective to describe the Brown they met. Look at that kick, oh. what a great kick, oh what a goal. Trying to get to his feet, back to Mench. Mench running down towards half forward, it needs a kick here. Mench chips it inside the 50, Ablett shielding his opponent from the ball. And that is a marvellous mark. A kick from between the lines, centre and half forward, sets it up for Ablett, who's working down there, opposed to Kellaway, and Ablett takes the mark on his chest. Now, he's kicked four second half goals, he's got seven for the afternoon. Gary Ablett at number eight. Now, that's a magnificent kick into the breeze. Great goal. Uh, against Richmond, they started Gale from the centre half forward, he started in the ruck, and they needed him at centre forward, so they put him down there, and they put they put Deer from off the bench onto the ruck, and he I don't think he likes it playing at Canadian Park that much. And then they put Turner in from full back, so they didn't have that much going for him around the ground, so they had to try something, I suppose, because Buddha and that were taking it out of the centre, and Abbott was having a goal feast, so they couldn't have anything to lose, I'd imagine. So they just tried to throw it around and try and win the game from the centre, I'd imagine. he goes so they've taken three kicks to get at 50 metres you'll have to be quick not right a great right hand pass right. Alessio intercepting a turnover which Blake wouldn't be happy with it might go the other way again O'Donnell Grant we're not in possession Alessio steams forward long kick from outside 50 terrific goal Mitch in front hocking onto the left foot not a bad little snap bounce which way is it going to go Anthony will kick a goal here and does Todd Ridley brings it back towards half forward, waiting for a high flyer. The Essendon players are there, heard, and he's got back up support. Simons across the face, and I don't think it's a goal. Yes! That was a standard quick end give, and uh, should have been a goal as a long. Ablett does the ruck work, steps it, goal, and it bounces through! Terrific start from the champ! 30, 38 plays 50 as Tanner was looking for Ablett. Oh, he's got it, Ablett. Simons, Darcy, play on, O'Donnell, kicks it! Crash, Simons. Geelong let the wrong side back Still into the Simons. match. The Bombers, Ready desperate to, to make it into the eight, oh, lapped up the opportunity to come back from a 27-point half-time deficit. The reigning Premiers put on seven goals to one in the third quarter, to win by 11 points. It was a costly loss for Geelong, because it put them level at ninth spot on the ladder. In round 11, the Cats did the unthinkable. They lost to Brisbane at home. The loss was not only damaging, because Geelong was left clinging to eighth spot on the ladder by percentage, but it stripped the club of its confidence and momentum. Scores were pretty much level all day, but the Bears scored an historic win with a seven goal last quarter. The Cats were at rock bottom. The strong first quarter had them in front of the Saints, who were third last on the ladder. Three goals up at half-time, Geelong kicked a woeful three points in the Premiership quarter, allowing St Kilda to pile on seven goals. A heroic performance by Gary Ablett in the last term saved the Cats from a second successive defeat at home to a lowly place side.
Laser Vidovic had a bit of a go. He's, he uh, fired up a bit actually and played a bit hard in the centre and tried to put me off my game by jumping earlier and they tied Everett and he tried to jump a bit earlier. It was a bit wet so the umpires decided to throw the ball up a couple of times but yeah, me and Laser have a pretty good battle every time. We're both pretty similar heights, about the same pace around the ground which ain't real quick. And uh, we sort of supposed to say they both play the same sort of game so yeah, it was a pretty good game I suppose. Gary Hawking kicks towards the pocket. Ablett comes on the lead. Can he get there in time? Spilt the mark. The hand pass came across from Tudor back to Ablett. About 35 metres from goal. Good looking attempt. I think he's got it. He has. Goal. A quirk in the fixture had the catch playing at home for the third match in a row. It should have been a dream come true. But instead, the Eagles made sure the nightmare continued. Leading at every change to win by 18 Pumps points. Down towards centre half forward, taken by Gary Hawking, away to couch. That left foot helped him there from 60 metres out. This ball could run on and score a goal. Ball went up, socket away by Barnes. Back to Gary Hawking, Kemp chases. Scott taps it to Ablett, quick left footer. What an amazing kick! Terrific stuff from Gary Ablett. Kemp applies a tackle. Mm. No one can go anywhere. Evans gets dragged out as he kicked. He has a go at goal. That's there. That's the game. It pissed down with rain all day that day. It was the first real wet day we'd really had. And I think they played Turnbull on me. And like he's, I don't think he'd rucked that much. So it was, wasn't his fault. But I was pretty well going all right till then. And we played him at, at home. And the uh, weather wasn't a, a real good factor for us. And the Eagles adapted to the weather better than we did. And... As you say, Buddha played very well that game because he likes the wet weather. He brings everyone down to his pace and his ball skills don't change in dry or wet conditions. So we um, ended up losing that game, which is a bit of bad luck. The Cats tumbled out of the eight for the first time since round six after losing to Hawthorne. The bookies were giving long odds for Geelong to win the flag from 11th spot. The media was speculating on whether coach Malcolm Blight would keep his job. Over the Cats were in the game up until the last turn, despite losing Buddha Hocking to a back injury for the second half. The final scores, the Hawks 16-19, 1-15, to Geelong 11-13, 79. Floats one down towards half forward. Lovell goes back with the flight of the ball. Colbert got a hand to it. McGrath knocked it out. Pike knocks it forward. Taken by Lyon. Open goal. The wheels looked as though they'd fallen off. And with the Demons desperate to jump into the eight, it was do or die for Geelong. He goes on with it. Off the left boot. Bang for goal. Offline. It comes back. It's a goal. Floats it down towards the wing. Bairstow goes back and did pretty well. Brewer, little look away hand pass. Simpson to Bairstow. Bairstow 60 metres out. Ablett camped in front, almost the mark. Better recovery, will snap a goal. His second. Into the path of two Melbourne players. Lovell is one, shepherded by Charles. He settles. Can he do what Stoneham could not? Yes. Goal. Goes to Barnes, who's 30 metres in the clear, John Barnes. One of the four ruckmen of the competition. Bouncing up the centre wing, almost run down. Out he goes to Simpson, wide for Ablett. And how can Ablett get that much of a break on White? Well, he'd gone a well away to the centre through looking for the Barnes kick. Sean White's had the better of him in recent meetings. Ablett for his third, 45 metres out. What a kick! Riccardi just outside the 50. The left footer sweeps towards goal. It won't make it. Ablett in the goal square with White. He's got it! Behind Colbert, in front was Simpson. All Melbourne in front of the pack, though. This is Hilton. He got it from Pike, and the Demons lead. All Melbourne. Matthew Phoebe, good hand pass to Gary Lyon. 65 metres out. Lyon, a centering kick. Charles! Oh, great play by Melbourne. Hickmott, good hand pass. Couch, left footer. One out is Ablett with White. Good contest. Never in doubt. Perfect set up there from Ford like Edward. Already he's coming up for goal number six midway through the second quarter. Gets it. To Barnes. The hand pass back. Hinkley. Up from the half-back flank, Ken Hinkley. Nearly kick a goal. Oh. The hand pass misses Stoneham. Tudor runs onto it. He's only 25 metres out and snaps a goal. Cats 
by eight points approaching half time. And you would think we're set for a big second half here. Brewer spins through the pack. He's all class. Brewer, great goal. Steins and Barnes. Steins knocks it forward. Opportunity for Schwartz. His third goal. It's close. He's got it. Charles dragged down by the defender. McGrath dragged off the ball. Gilbert should go over the top. Well, he improvises. He gets it to level Melbourne lead. Storming up the ground is Darcy, reaching over the top, almost the mark to Pike. Charles away to Lovell. Lovell snaps, it looks pretty good, I think he's got it. And 14 points at half-time, probably wasn't enough. No such animal anymore, I don't think. Wills, started on the bench, kicks a goal, just what the Cats need. But he boots inside the 50, loose ball behind Brown and Wills tangled, it comes back to the champ. Abler throws it on the boot, I think he's got his seven. He has. The Cats trailed by eight points at three-quarter time, but booted an amazing nine goals to steamroll Melbourne by 30 points. Ablett kicked 10. Gilbert could have almost got a free kick down went Lovell picked up by Hawking dragged down by Gilbert crashing his way through his pike and I think he's kicked the goal he has Brownless down towards half forward goes long Primke worked out of it Ablett comes up brandishing the ball and pops it through all clear he's got nine Brewer the hand pass bit of a fumble there by Bairstow back he goes to Colbert hoists it high Abner trying to wrestle up White. He broke the mark taken by Wills. And Andrew Wills, an unlikely mark over his head. No Geelong player's kicked more than one, apart from Abner, who's kicked nine. Wills, 30 metres out. The Cats lead. Stoneham suddenly showing aggression, showing confidence. Gets it down to Bearstone, to Brewer. This could be the clincher. He pulls it back. Oh, he can do some good things. That's a goal. Just outside the 50. Stoneham, clean possession. We've seen something special from Barry Stoneham in his last term. Couch, just outside the 50, floats it in. Ablett, beautifully done. Mercurial stuff to Tanner, and Tanner has got the goal. It's all over at Cadinia Park. Bearstow to half forward, Brownless underneath it. Oh, over the back, hit mark. Well, no free kick, hip and shoulder, the umpire set. And he's still down, Adrian Hickmott. The umpire must have deemed that a fair buck. He's underneath it. Over the back was Darcy. Racing at its Grigic. Around the corner goes Ilya Grigic. Up in front of the goals. Top the ground. They race hard at his Atkins. Quick kick of goal. He's got it. Freddie Hill, Deliberatore. The hand pass is dangerous. Ablett lurking. Crash. Down goes Smith. Watts. Bit wide for Croft. And the ball goes out of play. Riccardi, prominent early. Hinkley, Brownless, oh, within kicking distance, Billy Brownless. He, he is 55 metres out and there's a strong breeze at his back. Well, I want to back him. Hablett gives the lead, but if Billy kicks through to form, should go through it post high from here. He's onto it. A magnificent kick by Brownless. Only percentage separated Footscray and Geelong for eighth spot. If the Cats won, they'd stay in. If not, they'd slip to 11th. And that's just what happened. Here's Beveridge on to Stanfield. Can he kick his second, Barry Stanfield? Grant. Oh, clears his head. This is a goal. Doug Hawkins came on early in the first quarter and played one of his best games in years. Mark breaking Ted Whitten's long-standing 321-game record. Can he get there? Yes, he can. That was a beautiful kick, best day. Well, the Geelong champion. Now, is this his 800th, Ross? Should be if he kicks it. His 800th goal. And look, oh, look at the kick from Ablett. Right through the middle of the goal, number 800. Still, it was one point the difference with a quarter to play. But the Dogs had more run, kicking 6-2 to two in the final turn. Superbly on uh, Gary Ablett. Six marks, 12 possessions, Steve Crediel. Here's Steve McPherson, playing his first senior game of the year. And how well he did that. Atkins back to McPherson. Super, what a pass to the half forward line. And Colonia Parks, wide open forward line. He puts it out in front of Costa, who takes the mark and kicks the goal. I suppose being the big day and um, 
you know, a lot of talk about Doug Hawkins being carried on the bench and, um, you know, being looked after, you know, nursed along and stuff like that. Really did fire me up a little bit. I really wanted to prove people that, um, that I could still play footy. The Blues were sitting pretty in second place and co-favourite with West Coast to win the flag. Geelong hit hard right from the opening bounce. Established a six-goal lead and shut out Carlton for the rest of the game. Ablett kicked five in his 200th game and Brown lost three, while Kernahan managed only one. The Cats were still in 10th spot, but only a game out of the eight. Uh, Blighty got to us before the game and said it was a bit like a final and he wanted everyone to sort of fire up and play the best game they could and as it was, we beat Carlton. Uh, most of our on-ballers played very well. We got off to a good start in the game. Uh, nearly everyone did play well. They beat their man, which is, you can't ask for much more in a game like that. But that was the first of one of our final games because we had a loss. We were looking down the barrel towards the finals. There's no doubt about that. Runs wide of the pack. McDermott had it, then lost it. Picked up by Tanner. Brownless goes down towards half forward. Awkward half volley. Well made by Darcy. No play on the call. They all stop. Riccardi's got it. Short to Bearstow, who thought about it. Geelong's propensity to drop its guard no after a big win this. didn't eventuate against the Crows at Cadidia Park. Despite injuries to key players, including John Barnes, who missed the next two weeks, the Cats kicked nine goals in the second half, while Adelaide had just two on the board after three quarters. Final scores, Geelong 13-13-91, to Adelaide 5-8-38. Dearly love a goal, We've got a cosy little break, they'd like to increase it, goes for it, Stoneham, gets right towards there, Ablett sets himself, kicks his first. I just get the feeling that Gary Ablett's getting a little bit frustrated. He's going to uh, look for the free kick rather than attacking the footy at the moment. Tanner's kick, good one. Darcy Ablett's got his second. He's been very good. Couch in space, goes down towards half forward in the path of Riccardi. Riccardi, a natural left footer, has plenty of time to settle. Come on that left side, measures the kick, goes for home and gets it. 38 in the first six this year, 22 in the last 10. Tanner, Couch, the floodgates are opening, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that in his 200th, Couch here. Running Bairstow on the up, here's danger. He's at 80 metres, Ablett sets himself. Ablett with a chance now. Off the ground, a goal. He's got three, he's got 98. And stood Ross Glendinning as Chalmers gets it across towards Jamison. It spills back to Hawking, shrugs a tackle, 30 metres out, great snap. Whoa, he celebrates with a roll. It's, all, uh, it's a day you'll never forget, 200 games here at Cadenia Park. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get 200 down Dipper when I first started, but I'm happy to get there, and it's a good win by the boys. And it's a terrific win by the club. Uh, last couple of weeks, uh, Geelong are starting to come back in a bit of form. Yeah, we're starting to have a bit more of a getting hard after the ball, and, you know, you know, Barry Stone and back, Billy back, and a few blokes back in form. It's good to see. Now, next week you have a, a big test against North Melbourne? Yeah, a big test to see how the injuries are, and, you know, hopefully we'll get Barry and um, Handles back from today's injuries. Uh, Sean ran out of blonde that day, actually. Um, I had a collision with one of the midfield blokes and hurt my knee and went off, and Stephen Hanley, they thought I bro broke his ankle and he had to go off, and we had to have Billy Brownless in the ruck, so we were pretty short and man, and Barry Stoneham done his sternum, so we had three of our tallest blokes on the side off on the, on the bench, and um, I was asked to come back on the last quarter because no one else could play in the ruck, obviously, because we had no height on the ground, so I just whacked some ice on my knee, and away we went, and as it was, we ended up beating Adelaide that day, and... Yeah, it was pretty hopeful, pretty lucky that we had to come out with a win, actually. It was good. Scholl to Schwartz in space. In the centre square, kicks inside the 50. Carey. The game at the neutral venue of Princess Park was a thriller from start to finish. The old firm of Couch, Bairstow and Hocking were brilliant. With younger players like Mansfield, Brewer and Lynch providing good support. Couch, Stone and Kaiser Shepherd. He goes across his body, long kick, is it Geelong's first? Yes, it is, it bounces through. Great goal. Inside the 50, Stoneham, well played, sweeps it out wide. Brownless settles, they need a goal. Great kick. Well, that's 
Schwartz bad luck because he's been one of the most improved players this year. Schwartz dragged down. Couch across his body. The tackle came from Crothers. Fairly run hard at the ball. Adlett. Still he goes. Brushes one, brushes two. That's his first real kick for the day. And the mark in front is there. Billy again. But a great kick. No, they can't. I mean, his height and his athleticism is really stretching now. Darren Crocker's there with his job just at the yeah. moment. He's got the goal. It's his second. McKernan in front. Couldn't mark. Hocking. Does well in front of Allison. Long looping hand pass. Bearstow takes it from Colbert. Now the Cats can build on this. Brewer takes it inside 50. Goes it. Go and kicks it. Down towards the kickoff line. It goes long by always up. Barnett picks it up off hand, snaps and kicks a goal. Ten points the difference, a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. It's been a great quarter of footy. Couch looking for kick number nine and he'll get it. He's been terrific in the first term. Martin, one hand to it. Blakey written into the ground by Hocking. Nothing for it from the umpire. Fairly a quick kick. Now Bairstow should kick a goal. Lightning hand pass. Got it to him and he's kicked it. Normally a good kick, Allison. Swings it out wide. Carey on the lead. Protected the ball very well. About 60 metres from goal. Goes for home. It looks good. Oh, oh. What a kick. 50 awkward kick as a result. Out comes Adler. Confronting him was Laidley. Brewer again who's been handy. Didn't get away that time. Archer got him down. Lyshenko's over the ball. Laidley in trouble. Met solidly by Adler. Laidley's going to get a free kick. Two feisty customers there. Oh, he reverses. Well, Laidley's gone for the sleeper hold, and I think they'll take it off him. Hamlet. Goal number 99. Steers it home. Barnett knocks it further forward. Saw some North Melbourne jumpers, but not enough. And the man of the match is going to come away with it again. He's got a hard head, obviously. Goes for the boundary line. Allison, though, has kept it in. Well played. Allison takes the hand pass back for Longmire. Still he goes. He loves kicking goals. Allison from left half forward. Centering kick. It's a wrestle. Carry! Oh, Test about 30 metres out. Longmire in front. Barnett thumps at Goldwood. O'Reilly knocks it down. Riccardi left without it. Beautiful hand pass to Rock from Longmire. Marvellous goal. North Melbourne lead by a point, And they're playing very well. McKernan in front, Crothers the big leap from behind, it falls wide of the pack, Rock, hurried kick, gutsy mark by Carey. Tanner, good hand pass, Couch, over the top, Crothers, can he kick a goal? Oh, lovely sidestep, Billy, you beauty, and kicks it! Won't quite get the distance, Crothers! Great mark! Six marks coming in for kick number 11, and as I said, his fourth goal to put the catch back in front. From 25 metres he goes. Geelong leads. First two quarters were sensational. Brownless! What a beauty! Well, he can kick this. Even allowing for the win. Adler going mad. Get it to me, son. Get it to me. Here he is. No, not this time. Oh, he's got a free. Wow. Will he get two goals from three kicks? Well, the crowd, crowd's running on already. He's kicked it. Ablett gets his hundred. And they come from everywhere. And Gary Edwards in there somewhere. Whoa. He's played 15 times against uh, North Melbourne for 72 goals. Ablett got his ton against the Roos for the second year in a row. But he was well held by Martin, finishing with just two. Nichols, missing twice, let the Cats off the hook. Home by just a point. Caught by Colbert. No free kick. The umpire calls play on. Couch takes the hand pass. Gets around one. On to Bairstow from 30 metres out. Kicks a goal. Geelong were wary of Fitzroy pulling out something special. The Lions were languishing third last on the ladder, and coach Robert Shaw announced he was quitting the club at the end of the year. The Cats were only 13 points up at the last change, but the Lions ran out of steam, kicking one point in the final term. It was Geelong by 41 points.
Yeah, well, in the Foster's Cup, they had something like a, that emergence or something, and they came out fire and they made a new club song with Manson or someone, and they came out fire and gave us a hide, and so we weren't going to let that happen again, so we thought we'd go in just as hard as what, that, what they expect us to do. Couch is going with McGuan. First bounce of the MCG, the big men come at each other. It spills wide of the pack, taken by Bearstow. Hurried kick inside the 50, down toward Tablet. Full chested, Pert came to meet it. Watson can't pick it up across the 50. Hand pass was smothered by Hocking, well played. He's getting a free kick just inside the 50. Gary Hocking sent is the ball. Riccardi will need to go, and he does. Peter Riccardi goes for goal. Great start for the Cats. They taken by McGuan. Uses Williams as a decoy and comes back towards the middle. McCartney should have marked it. Colbert's got it. Goes across the ground. Lynch. Well done by Woods. Woods right on the 50. Feeds it back to Buckley. He's a thumping kick. He pulls it back. That's a magnificent goal. Both teams went into this match with 11 wins and 8 losses. The side which made it 12 wins would move up to fourth. It was an absorbing tussle. The Magpies only sticking the beak in front in the last quarter to win by three points. He passed the ball. Ablett for goal. Gets his first. Great gather by Barnes. Bought to Bairstow. Brownless. Billy Brownless. With, well within kicking distance, 55 metres. And look at that. McCartney. Couldn't quite take the mark. Right again, who followed up to McGuan. He's kicked one already. A lazy bounce. Beats a man and kicks another one. On the bounce to Darcy. Running out of room. Clever kick back. Brownless caught behind. Kelly drops the mark. Brownless has got it. Pass or goal? Hand pass. Besto. Good goal. Well set up. Chance for the catch here again. Brownless gets a goal. And the margin at the moment, eight points in favour of Collingwood. Barnes attempts it with one hand, comes to Colbert. His hand pass is good. Gary Hocking on the run, a little left footer. Eplant at the back, oh. another one. <laughs> Billy's kick three and two in a minute. High kick down towards full forward. McCartney goes with Darcy. Buckley off hand, snaps a goal. His third. Kelly missed it. Brewer. Oh, brought to a full stop. Clever oh, tap out to Brownless. Brownless will kick a goal. That was brilliant. Brewer spins out of a tackle. Still he goes. Brewer well played. We're down to 12 seconds. Brewer long. Ablett. Oh! And Ablett has taken this mark. Siren's gone, so Ablett will kick after the siren. And he puts it through. Three goals in the corner for Gary Ablett is back to a point at three-quarter time. Collingwood lead it. It's the way Gary Perth marked at fullback, hit yeah. the ground running, and set up a goal at the other end. It was just fantastic. Here's Mitch. Oh. And a good kick. The catch back in front. The game is hanging by a thread at the moment. Mickey Maguire goes back. Has a bit to say. Then goes short and Buckley. Perhaps the best kick on the ground. An important kick for the aspirations of two clubs right here. Nathan Buckley. Kicks for goal. I think it's good, it is. Collingwood in front. Uh, Monkhurst had a pretty good day out. He just sat in our half, our half forward line and took mark after mark. Well, it's not my fault, I suppose. I should have been on him, but didn't get a message from the coach, so I sort of tried to play my game. I was a bit underdone with fitness-wise. Uh, my legs were a bit tired and the, the old ticker wasn't taking its pump and blood as normal. So I suppose we just lost that game by a couple of points. But yeah, 66,000 people was a pretty good buzz to come back from. Yeah, we, that was another one we needed to win. But The Cats got the shock of their life against Sydney. At half-time it looked like the Swans would join Brisbane and West Coast as Interstate Raiders. But Besto, Couch, Hickmont and Lynch all fired up in the second half to prevent another catastrophe.
on the throw-in. Broderick tries to belt it clear, but it goes straight to Couch. A standing start, a shot at goal, and he's kicked it. Tim McGrath brings it back into play. Mansfield! What a fly! Off to Riccardi he goes. Peter Riccardi kicks up towards Hickmon on centre wing. He can keep going with the player going past him. Ken Hinckley finds him now. 50 metres out, a pass to Brownless. Excellent football from one end of the ground to the other. They're starting from that magnificent mark here from Mansfield. What about the distance that Hinckley's covered here? Look, he's delivered the kick from the 50 metre line. He's running back to the wing. He's actually playing at half back. And picking up the player that he's on. I can't quite work that one out. Here's Brownless bending it back. Lovely kick for goal by Billy Brownless. Hickmont. Richmond needed to win this match to be certain of playing in the finals. But Geelong's midfield machine was in overdrive. Billy Brownless was on fire at full forward, booting eight straight. It was an impressive display against quality opposition on the eve of the finals. He is there once more. Ball pushed towards Bond. A high hurry kick. This is going to be close. It's a goal. In trouble, Mansfield, but he's able to break clear. Looking pretty good. Mansfield's handball over the top. Tanner gets it back to Mansfield. In turn, Couch. Watch this man go. Paul Couch for goal. A high kick to the line. He's done it again, Couchy. Yes, it's mine, says the goal umpire. It's a goal. Hickmott it is for Geelong. Off the left foot. Kicks to half forward. Good mark. Courageous mark. Paid. And it is to Mitch. Courageous mark, wasn't it, Robbo? My word. Did a good job kicking a few goals against Collingwood a couple of weeks ago. This is Brewer. Brewer's kicked a goal. Well, uh, Geelong doing it very nicely at the moment. Barnes gets it to Riccardi. Riccardi's kicked to the front of the square. Billy! Doing very well on the other wing, Wills. Brownless from straight in front. He doesn't miss this. Ball rebounds for Couch. Couch's Look kick goes right across the half-forward line. The mark is taken by Riccardi. Look at this. And he's got a Brewer on his own. He'll run into an open goal, Brewer, and he'll pop it through, and that was poor defence by the Tigers. Time for either side to score, but uh, it favours the Cats as Besto has it from 55. Long up towards Brownless, will have to do it with the one hand. Can't do so. Who's going to be first to recover? The snap is high, it looks pretty good. It's bending back, and Peter Riccardi has kicked the beauty. Good contest provided by Daffy. Ball spills now for Couch. Couch's kick goes straight towards goal. Brownless! Mark of the day by Billy. Brownless should kick a goal from here. And he punts straight through the centre. Barnes up high, but Greg Deer. Now the ball with Hocking receiving from Couch. Towards half forward. This is important. Brewer's snapshot. Magnificent kick by Brewer's a goal. Back to the centre. Barnes. Oh, trip. a trip against Broderick, I think. Well, they play on the advantages paid. Down to Brownless, who should mark. Plays on and goals. The Cats answer now. In towards yeah. half forward, Brownless. Ball spills now for Pickering. Pickering snapshot will bounce through. Another Geelong goal. Big fly, couldn't take the mark. Tanner was there, so too Besto. He finishes with the skipper. Somehow he gets clear. He shoots towards goal, and the Cats are doing it with absolute ease now. He's chipping it around now, the Cats. Steve Hocking has it, gives it away to Lee Colbert. He bounces his way almost down to the centre. Pops it over to the top to Brewer. Look out, he'll give it back again to Lee Colbert. Down they run in a line straight down the ground. Don't tell me Colbert's going to have a shot. He runs his full distance and he kicks a goal. And what a goal. Struggle for possession on centre wing. Couch tries to get it clear. It spills to Riccardi. Then to Steve Hocking. Watch this into the corridor. Gary Hocking to go for his second goal of the quarter. And he's got it. If Riccardi gets free, he'll be dangerous. He's got to get down onto that left foot. Eventually gets it back to Hocking, who's kicked one just a minute ago. Put that one down for another one. Goes up towards the 50-metre line. Brownless couldn't take the mark. Hickmont off to Riccardi. Riccardi a left foot snap in towards goal. And there's the first of the night. It'll be a long time before any Geelong or Footscray fan forgets this final. Played under lights on Saturday.
Both sides played hard and at a frantic pace. 47 metres. Paul Couch bends it back. There's another one. He will send Footscray for the first time deep into attack and a chance maybe for a score. Surely, Costa's kick looks good. They do. 33 oh, points. Look at that. Magnificent uh, ruck work that. Applet again proceeds from Bairstow, and that is magnificent football. <laughs> Bairstow's kicking the position beautifully. And I think that fight has fired him up. The Geelong champ. And it might be his fourth. Let's have a look. Yes! Push down in front. Atkins off to Cameron. The dogs are trying to steady the ship that was sinking rather quickly in towards Grant. Got a fly but couldn't take the mark. On all fours is Chris Grant. He's at the bottom of the pack. So too Liberatore. The away he goes. Can he find the path to Wallace? Wallace shoots from 40 metres. Looks good. In this first quarter, Barnes floats high. Where's Besto? Right there. And away they go again. Down towards full forward. Trying to take it away with Hickmott. Morbos finds Ablett and he goes. They lead by 32 points. A couple of quick goals and the Bulldogs will be back in it. Here's Cameron. Down towards Grant. Grant. Oh, brilliant mark by Grant. That is a top mark against quality opposition. So Chris Grant will kick from a 45 degree angle. They need it. Oh, it starts to swing back to the sneak in for a goal. No. Yes. Somehow gets a kick down towards full forward. Brown forced to defend. Cameron does the roving work. Can he bend this one back? Around he comes. Into the pocket they go, Reynolds and Colbert. Here's a snap, there should be a goal. Nigel Keller. Hasn't done a lot. Hunter goes to ground, he's got to try and get in a hand pass. Back it comes to Wallace, Wallace always good in the crisis. Wins it to the centre of the ground, Keenan Reynolds in front again. Taken away by Nigel Keller. On the Cameron, he splits clear. Leon Cameron, he's kicked the ripper. Barnes to do the ruck work. He floated in the first quarter as they consistently won it out of the middle. And here they go again. That's what happened. Bairstow to Ablett. Oh, oh, what a mark. Ablett took it on the chest. He's got to kick this one. This for number six. He's got it home, I think. Kenny Hinckley loves to sneak down and get a goal down again as he brings it in towards the square. <laughs> Danny Southern at the back. He's doing well on Brownless. Here's a quick kick at goal. Pickering, I think. Here's Atkins, who played a good second term. Brings it towards half forward. The race is on. Chris Grant gets a cruel bounce. He's still got it. Tries to get in a hand pass. He's big Brigage. He's working hard. Kellett, well played. Right to Kellett. Kicking from 55 metres. Gee, it's a long drop punt. It's there! He's doing well, and so is Atkins. Atkins a long kick straight down the centre. He's looking for Osmond. Almost a mark. Osmond with pace. Look at him go. Richard Osmond onto the left boot. Oh, that's a mark. Keenan Reynolds a goal. All dogs in front. Carney. It was Colbert, in fact, who gave it to him. Ablett. And Crenio, oh, poor bounce. Hickman. Hickman a chance. Under the right foot. Goal to Geelong. Oh. Attempted soccer off the ground goes nowhere. Pushed wide eventually by Nigel Kellett. Oh. He's quick. Into the pocket, Leon Cameron. The little wizard. Gets it back again. They're deep into their forward zone. Over the top. West couldn't take the mark. But he recovers. Look at the battle for Osman. North Melbourne player brings it wide to Hickmont. Hickmont wanting to play on. Oh, he's got himself into trouble. Gets Look in out. the hand pass. Oh. oh, Colbert. They're going in very, very hard. Footscray. Here's a turnover though. As Brewer receives from Bearstow. In towards Brownless and Ablett. Billy Brownless has taken a mark. 
There's a Billy let out from the square there, and that's what's been lacking. Southern has done very, very well. Billy Brownless has yet to score a goal. The Cats could do with this. He's a good kick. It's a beautiful kick. It's a goal. The Bulldogs trailed at every change, but were one point up when Osborne put one through with less than 30 seconds on the clock. As it sets sail in towards full forward, Brown flies, Osborne's left loose, and he goes! We've got to the back to the centre of the ground, and after Osborne had done his little showdown with his hands and that, and we're all just packing ourselves, and Mark Bairstow has just got to me and said, you've got to get this to Buddha, you've just got to get this to Buddha. And I said, I'll try. So he got up, hit the ball down, Buddha grabbed it, quick snap, Menchie marked it, Menchie passed it to Billy, Billy marked it, lined up, siren's gone. And I've just put my heart in my mouth, I've gone, Billy, you've got to kick this, son, you've got to kick this. Mitch, he's got to play on and they've got to take a mark. It's got to be Abbott or Brownlow. Oh, oh, what a finish. Eight seconds left. If, if it kicks a down, point, if it kicks a point, it'll be another tie. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. The siren's going to sound. Oh. <laughs> well, his coach Malcolm Blight knows all about that. This is your moment, Billy. He'll go back and belt this straight through the middle. Yes, I'd back him. Well, he's had a rock and rolling season. Down and out, and back he comes. Can he finish it off with a goal? Billy, you are king of the oh! The monkey's off the back, Billy! Billy! Oh, Billy! Look at them! Look at those Geelong players! The scenes of jubilation were reminiscent of a grand final. Blight charging out to his players in much the same way as Barassi did when Blight helped North to its first flag in 1976. Oh, they've lost place. This is one of the great victories at Geelong. And what Billy Brownless hasn't he turned it round? He was the villain in 19, uh, well, 1992 when the West Coast thrashed them in the grand final. He's turned around and won it off his own boot. Grand final like scenes here. <laughs> Let's go down and join them now with Bimba. Thanks very much, uh, Sandy. Oh. What, what, what can you say, eh? Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> you screwed <laughs> yourself, on it. You'd be buying a few oh, beers for Billy, wouldn't you? Look at you, they're pissed and all, it's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it social. A terrific game by both oh, sides. Mate, it's a push grade, did say four down, but why do you use a kick in the butt at half time? And... Oh, Christ, man, I'm stuck. Look at you, I figure, buddy, I figure. <laughs> You know, I was just thinking, uh, if I missed, I didn't want to play another 10 minutes of footy and I didn't want to go back to Geelong, so I had to kick it, mate. But, you know, your last six or seven weeks have been pretty good. Like, you, you know, I gave you a bit of a cook on radio a few weeks back because I reckon Billy Brownless could do more than what he was yeah. doing. And all of a sudden, you, you've grabbed the bit and you really have been a focal point up front. Yeah, the last few weeks have been pretty good. Um, you know, I, ha I have worked pretty hard and, uh, and it's all starting to work. You know, it, it didn't work overnight, but it's slowly coming there and uh, today was just great. You know, and I think the boys were pretty happy for me and Blighty was very happy. Brown was short to half forward, OK. Oh. Mitch it is. Again, across the ground. A chance for Hanley. Applet's all on his own. A dream start. Applet kicks his first. After Carlton's shock loss to Melbourne, Premiership favourites were expected to bounce back at the expense of Geelong, which was without Mansfield, Hocking, Bairstow and Couch. Storming through Kudapides, having a wonderful last few weeks. Was it touched? No, it's a goal. Uh, some of the Cullen players would have been thinking all week the jobs that they would have had on Bearstow, Couch and Hocking all of a sudden find themselves on lesser lights. Brownless. But the young cats got the jump on the Blues and outscored them for the remaining three quarters to cause a boil over. Aaron Lord was given the freedom to do as he pleased and he made the most of it, cutting Carlton up in the centre. It was one of the most courageous wins in the club's history. Mitch has kicked it. McGrath's been great, Hinkley, O'Reilly, Tanner and also Stephen Hocking. Absolutely superb, two players off the ground in Mitchell and Gleeson. O'Sullivan from Hulk, Cook, good mark, terrific mark on the chest. And this could steady the ship. Cook from 45 metres out is a great kick. A depleted Geelong. Oh, Barnes! Over the top. Releases O'Sullivan. He centres the ball, Sexton has to wait, Brownless got there and outmarked him. The story of the day. Brownless wants to go. 
Long telling kick down towards the 50 meter line. Over the top, Christo fisting away. In front, Tudor though, pops it for a man loose and that's Mench. He's got it 40 meters out. Important kick this one, either way. He goes short and finds a man, Riccardi, who needs to finish with a goal. He's only uh, 30 metres out. This for a 24-point lead. Riccardi likes it off the boot, it's a goal. Runs his full measure, pops it in short, good kick, hit not. Just outside 50, squares it cleverly to Minch. Ablett short, Minch long. High ball, Brownless. One out, a wrestling match. Off the ground, Tudor, another one. Their forwards are keeping very wide, which is exposing Carlton's uh, lack of pace across there. They're not able to man up as quickly. Pickering again, getting another touch to full forward. Ablett! And uh, Ablett, of course, they're coming in front of the pack on that particular occasion. Let's kick two goals, three. And another one. Well, one of the few times perhaps Carlton can win it out of the centre. O'Sullivan paddling it down towards half forward. Settles, goes over the top. Williams waits for it. He's in trouble. Allowed to get up from right half forward. Kicks inside the 50. Cooks in front. And the ball fell in short and he's taken the mark. Down by 34 points. What's he done with it? It's a good effort. Now playing on Brownless, sporting and defence. Goes to Kernahan, getting some touches but not getting goals. O'Sullivan, chip pass, all cooked, cleaned up. Fairly apparently, Mitchell to kick his second. He's got it. Spalding at centre half back because uh, Dean has gone to centre half forward. So David Parkin, many changes. Sexton's on Minch. Here's Tudor from 45 metres, goes long. Goes long and high. He's got it. Good vision, got it to Brewer. Brewer's kick, indecisive. Mitchell's over the ball now, slaps it Goldwood. Dean's got it again. Could have fit, he's couldn't control it. Williams goes to ground. Here's Bond on the 50. A bit of acceleration, 45 metres out. Very high kick. Hinkley has to wait, I think it's a goal. It's clear the line. It's Christo, close to the line, pulls it back towards half forward. Kernahan's in front, he's trying very hard. That was a good grab. Kernahan wants to move it immediately. He's about 75 metres from goal. Bacon goal square. He heads for home. It's a two-on-one situation. Williams, I'd pay that. So Williams from 15 metres out. A little further. Kicks truly. Here come the Blues. OK, Ablett tried to crash through. Brewer in the pocket. Held up by McKay. Gives it away. Tudor's kick two. To the goal square, good kick, Minch has got it. And full marks to Minch for playing in front. Goes for his third goal. Allen in front, Brownless working from behind, it fell forward. Hogg surrounded, Pickering measured the hand pass superbly. Tudor from 45, down towards full forward, Ablett. Working off his man, Milhanna just falling away, has taken the mark on his chest. And once again, it was that boy Tudor who at ground level has given uh, Ratton all sorts of troubles with his pace along the ground. He's just been able to pounce on the ball and uh, on the big wide open spaces here. Obviously, that's what Malcolm Blythe wants. He wants these quick young players to pump the ball down. Gets his fourth. Minch has kicked three. Quickly onto the boot to full forward. Ablett gets back. Well played, Hannah. Tudor's there. Over the top, Ratton. Ablett will get a chance here. He's got it. Number five. Here's Chris, who's had a pretty fair turn. He rattled the post with one that might have lifted them. They've been looking for some inspiration from somewhere. Brown's been fantastic. So's Lord. Pickering's been good. This could seal it from 55. Ablett wrestling. Oh. Ablett marking magnificently. And I saw him out here kick eight goals against Essen in a preliminary yes. final when he played up the ground that day and was unbelievable. Well, today, not quite as spectacular, but he has kicked six. But the Blues might run out of time. They need a big mark from Kernahan. He's got it. The siren's going to go. Well, he missed one before from virtually the same position in front. It was a poor kick. 9-7 to 14-9.
It would have meant two goals in the last minute of the third quarter. He kicks from 50. It's pretty good. The captain has done it. Great goal. Dean kicks in. Brewer, big leap. Fisted at Goldwood. Here's Ablett. He's got six. Darcy. Minch. Hickbot. Could end it. He has. That should be the ball game. Dying seconds of the game. Hickbot away. Could Gary take a big one? No, Billy has a go to ground. Still time ticking away. Chris Tu. Carlton gone in 1994. It's the end for the Blues. What a win. That is something special. Well, there's Billy Brownless. He's been a superb player. Gary Abbott with his six goals today, captaining the Cats. I think maybe for the first time, and maybe he has done it before, but I can't remember when uh, Gary's been the captain. And there's Dipper down there with Pickling played a, a marvellous game for Geelong. So did his opponent, uh, Greg Williams. They were both superb today. Well, now, first of all, congratulations on a great personal game, but also on a great team effort. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, it was great. We come out here today, we thought with the three out that they... You know, to throw them out, and we thought if we all stuck together and had a fair can go, well, you know, we'll get there. Well, tell your supporters, when did you find out that you were going to have the tough job? Uh, not till last night. I think originally uh, Kiachi was going to have it, and um, I'm missing the celebrations here. Uh, Kiachi was going to have it, but then he was injured, so... That's well, it could have been a blessing, because he hadn't had too long to think about it. Well, that was it, yeah. He said to me last night, go to bed and dream about him, so I dreamt about him. Gee, Barnes was good fit around that centre. Sensational. It's been great all year. And your defence was superb back there. Well, I tell you, they've probably copped a lot of flack over the last, or over the last four or five years, has been the sort of the weekend of our team. But gee whiz, they, they stood up today when the pressure was on. Every bloke just contributed magnificently, and again we got the ball out of the centre. Uh, we used the ball very well, I'd, I thought, because it was pretty windy that day. And if you don't use the ball in finals, you've pretty well got no chance of winning a game. But normally, your best bet's seven out of ten on a on a normal day, but on a final, five out of ten's pretty high, so our skills were pretty high that day, and we ended up winning that game by 30 odd points, so that was a good plus. Kick by McGrath towards the centre circle. Schwoss takes one high, but no whistle for that. Up to centre half forward, McKernan on the turn, a very high ball, a real hospital ball, but Kerry jumps out of the pack to mark. This match will be remembered as one of the best finals ever front, played. Just 30 metres With Carlton out, out North took over the mantle of flag favourite, but the Cats were bolstered by the return of the Fab Four. Close to the boundary line, he's kicked to centre wing. McKernan, great athlete, plays on Corey McKernan. Out in front of Carey, no mark, but he plays on the skipper. Left footer, kicks it under his man for a goal. Bounces a kick to Longmire. Stands in the tackle. Best over Geelong gets the hand pass out. Here's Carey again. Goes for a hat trick. Allison's got it. North three goals to one. Wayne Schwoss for the afternoon. Down towards the kickoff line. Ablett is down there. Scholl missed it. Brownless behind. Open goal beckons. Brownless puts it through. Barnes knocks away from McKernan. Oh, all cats here. Besto, good hand pass to catch. He's got Hocking inside. The three in the engine room all missed last week. Combining there. Kick by Hocking. Ablett. Haven't sighted him yet. Tudor, who was a dangerous goal kicking rover last week. Centres the ball to Hickmott. All catch. And Couch takes the mark. Inside 30 metres. Couch goals. He's got it down. Couch. Besto now in trouble. Scholl drives it down towards half forward for his side. Handley over the top, got a fist to it. Allison on the burst, superbly done. 40 metres out, deserves a goal. What a beauty. Stevens taking it backwards for North. He skirts around them beautifully. His left footer well inside the 50. Lombard. North got the jump, peppering the goals with 5 9 in the first term. 40 metres from goal. Protection from the stand. Kick by Longmire is a fantastic kick. Malcolm Blight delivered a stinging tirade at the break, shaking Riccardi into action. Yeah, I was, I was, was expecting a, um, a blast because man got away a couple of times and kicked a couple of goals, and um, I didn't expect you know to pull him in, but I mean I deserved it, and 
I showed him that I could play a bit of footy and I did it. Lately. Here's Paul Couch. Beats a man 35 metres out and kicks the goal. Cats are sticking. Barnes has got a free kick. Alongside the centre circle. Hinkley, good evasion through the middle. Inside the 50. Cats looking better. Mench again. Now Mench. Quiet achiever. On the side this season. And again this afternoon. From 35. Punches it through. It's all square at the MCG. Buddha Hocking was unstoppable, collecting 34 possessions. Sets it up for Brownless. What a good kick. 28 goals for the season. His best eight against Richmond in round 24. He gets it. Steve Hocking's hand pass a bit slick. Handley recovers. Boats one over the top. Pickering goes for a bounce. 55 metres out. Ablett Shepherds a goal. One from the 50. Battlewood's full forward. Barnes is there, has to wait. Oh, that's a mark for mine. Doesn't matter. Ablett goal. Mick Martin and Gary Ablett continued their private war, which for the most part, Martin won. Fairly. Intercept by Tudor this time. Kicks it inside the 50. Longmire favoured by the kick. Awkward half volley. Keeps it in front. He's 35 metres out. Pulls it back towards Carey and McGrath. Oh, what a mark. Turns round and kicks the goal. Unbelievable. Marvellous second term could send them into the grand final. Brownless, Pickering from 55. Long kick. Ablett watches it sail. It's a goal. Very difficult kick out of there. Allison flicks the hand pass to Blakey. Blakey 48 metres out. Great kick. What a quick goal that was. Crocker over the top, got it down, Nichols to Stevens. 60 metres out, Stevens, long bomb. Longmire's down there, over the top, O'Reilly Carey in front. He's got another one. As it was at half-time, the margin 24 points. Hawking had it then lost at Stevens. Inside the 50, Carey. This is something special by Wayne Carey. Carey and McGrath had another great battle. Season, the North four, captain four, taking the honours early, McGrath coming back off the bench to square the ledger. Leading by example, slots it. Schwoz through the middle. A dumping kick. Chance for Lombard. Open goal, gets it. High floater, it travels about 15 metres. Knocked on by Mensch. Missed by Tudor. Still he goes off the ground, Lee Tudor. He's got the goal. You know, no one likes to get taken off at any stage, so, um, you know, I sat down now to think about it, and then it was good that Blighty gave me a chance to play him again the last quarter. You know, you've trained all year to try and make it to a grand final, that's all we ever play for, and, you know, if I got the chance to come back on, you know, just just give it me best and try and stay with him and, and just try and get the ball to ground. Makes the mark, hit the ground running, McAdam, he's about 80 metres from goal, edging closer. Set is it, back comes Carey, McGrath is with him, awkward bounce, McGrath heads for the boundary line, now it's a foot race, Carey's in front, McGrath in close attendance, Carey hurriedly onto the boot, Allison awkward bounce, he's 25 metres from goal, this time perhaps he settles and gets it. The Roos missed a couple of sitters in the dying minutes, but still looked like getting up, before Barnes took it upon himself to run down the ground. Kick the distance. Will it point be enough? Won't make it. Oh! oh Barnes! Oh. His second mark of the day, Barnes. Why play on? Here's Couch. That's the way they play, Geelong. Here they go. Riccardi around the outer side. Listen to the roar. 103 apiece. A minute and ten to go. Smith in the row. Football. Shoulders on in the middle, that's ignored. Man's got it now from half back towards the wing. Will we go to extra time? Thumped away by Couch. Rocks in front. Inside the last minute. Here's Schwoss on the outer side. Goes down towards half forward. He'll direct it. Full chested heat 
Mitchell. What a game he's played. Back towards half forward and couch. We're down to 45 seconds. Inside the 50, Will's got a hand to it. Laidley, possibly the best on the ground. Hits for the boundary line. Rattlers fell over and the ball's out of bounds. And the clock stops at 34 seconds. North Melbourne defensive went tremendous this last quarter. They've stopped everything that Geelong have thrown at them. 103 points apiece. Last boundary throw in, surely. Last roll of the dice for Geelong. The ball towards the boundary line. Pickering's over and out. 25. 25 seconds left. We will get another boundary throw in. Ablett's a man. He's got to take the jump here. Ablett's got to jump, grab and have a snap. Watch him. Like in the 89 grand final. Hockey had a big lead. Mick Martin gets it. Battle to the chest of Colbert. There's 18 seconds left. Colbert, what will he do? Started on the bench. We're down to 10 seconds. Colbert. And the mark is missed down there by Barnes. Right on the boundary line. Tudor. thinking to myself, a ruckman should get down there and try and punch the ball through or at least try and mark it. And I thought to myself, I better get down there just in case it does get on the line. So I ran down there and as it was, the uh, game was tied and it was, there couldn't have been long left. So I thought, geez, I've got to mark this. So I went up, I marked it, luckily. The uh, handball wasn't real flash, but we got away with it. And uh, as it was, Kerchie got it to Rico. Rico ran down the wing and we kept it down our wind. It went out of bounds. And from there, the rest is history. Gazza took that mark and bang, we're here for this week. Eight fifteen, Geelong. West Coast, 20 goals, 23. Well, the Cats did well to get here. We've got to say that without patronising them. After round 15 and that loss to Footscray, they were gone. White's job was on the line. And they've come all this way. It's ended and bit of frustration. Here's McKenna to the wing. The fairy tale run came to a screeching halt. As West Coast systematically destroyed the Geelong players, had given all they had to give. The Cats ran out of lives when they took on the well-rested Eagles. Their third grand final in six years ended in an 80-point belting, which hurt. He will celebrate doubly tonight. He's resurrected his football career. Goes for a tour, down towards the pocket. Hawking, unkind bounce. It runs away and goes out of bounds, and we're down to five seconds. Michael Malthouse, a job well done. He coached his first game at the Western Oval back in 1984. Footscray was the side. They won that afternoon against Richmond, and now a long road to the MCG and his second premiership. The Eagles are premiers. Second time in three seasons. No debate. They've won in the most convincing style.
Australian Football Video presents Vintage Football from the Seven Sport Classics Collection. Seven's Magic Moments and the Sensational 70s. Football action to get your blood boiling. In Seven's Magic Moments, thrilled to 30 minutes of unrivaled football history. From the brilliance of Bulldog to the antics of Jacko. And the Sensational 70s. Highlights from one of Aussie Rules' finest decades. Magic Moments and Sensational 70s. Two magnificent Seven Sport Classics from Australian Football Video.